Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of our program Marriage and the Hope. My name is Israel Tajomao and I'm indeed delighted to discuss issues concerning marriage with you. The problem of marriage is one that affects so many in the world and that causes a lot of devastation. So uh, we are hoping that in this program we are able to give you some sort of consolation some sort of uh, advice that can help you in your marriage decisions. Um, I want to encourage the young ones, those who plan to get married in the near future, to watch this program. There, there are so many things that you can learn that will help you in your marriage or that will help to prevent you from having certain challenges in your marriage. So we want to continue on our series, Reasons for the Challenges in Marriage. Uh, we said that a lot of people have not taken steps in the right direction to get it right first before going into marriage. And we said there are steps that you need to take to get it right first so that you can have a good foundation of your marriage. Because these steps that you take will determine what will happen in your marriage? And we said that uh, in the, for, the, for the, this program, we are going to list about 10 steps and discuss them. So far, we have been able to list nine of these uh, steps and we have discussed them. In the last episode, we took step number nine and we said that your choice of a spouse should be for the right reasons. That was step number nine. Today, we want to take the final step. Uh, that will be step number 10. Step number 10 says that reveal your true self to your proposed partner. I take it again. Reveal your true self to your proposed partner. This is a very vital point that we need to note. Because a lot of people are... Uh, for reasons of fear of rejection, they give false information about themselves. This is not good at all. Uh, while dating or while getting to know the person that they hope to get married to, they give false information about themselves. This is not right. It will come back to haunt you uh, when you do this. And when you do this, you are building a faulty foundation for the marriage. You need to take note of that. And you know what happens when you build a faulty foundation. The building cannot hold this uh, foundation. Why do people do this? Because they fear rejection. They don't want to be rejected. So they give a lot of false information about themselves. In some cases, some try to be quiet about their past or their condition. They are quiet about it. Say, well, I didn't say anything. It's the same thing anyway. If you hide what you uh, uh, some of the things that uh, some of the challenges you have or some of the conditions that you have to the person you hope to get married to, it will come back to haunt you later. It's all the same, and it's not a good idea. What are these materials that they use to build this faulty foundation that we talk about? Number one is lies. Number two, secrets. Number three, deceit. Number four, pretense. These are the things that happen. A lot of people tell lies, you know, about themselves, just to uh, kind of uh, put forward a kind of image about themselves. And a lot of people, they keep secrets because they feel that if these secrets will come out, you know, it will make this person that they hope to get married to, not to want them again. And some of are full of deceits. Some pretext about who they are. Now, let's look at some of this false information that people put forward about themselves. I think it's good that we know these things. So that even you, who is hoping to get married to somebody, uh, you may need to be sure of who you are getting married to. And you, who wants to get married to another person, say the truth about yourself. One of the things that people, this kind of people tell lies about is, lies about their educational qualification. I've seen this. 
some of them may actually attend that institution, the same institution that you attended. So they probably know your lecturers, they know the name of the VC, and they will claim they are in so 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 department. They tell lies when they did not graduate. They actually went to the school but did not graduate. But the fact remains that the qualification you claim to have, you don't have it. So then tell lies about your educational qualification. Rather, go and find solution about that your qualification. If you feel you feel that it matters to you, you need to find solution about it. The other thing they tell lies about is the marital status. Some men are married. They go chasing some other women and tell them lies that they have never been married. Some have, they have a family abroad and they will tell lies that they have not been married. You know, they will come and pick a Nigerian wife. Some will get married in another state and go to another state and tell lies that they are not married. Sometimes it is not planned. They just want to have fun and they tell lies to the lady that they are not married. And in the course of doing so, the lady gets pregnant and then they find themselves in a condition. So it is not good to tell lies about your marital status. Then some tell lies about having children. They will say they don't have children. They are actually not married, but because they are afraid, most especially the ladies, that ah, the man might not uh, be interested in them again. So they tell lies. Some even have four children. They say they don't have children so that the man will uh, accept them. You shouldn't tell lies about things like that. You are building a faulty foundation for the marriage. Another one is lies uh, about, uh, okay, they pretend about their religious disposition. They pretend about their religious disposition. Just because they want to, they are so much interested in having the lady, they can say, yes, ah, I'm going to get baptized into your church. I'm going to join you in your church. Just, you know, for them to have their way with the lady. At the end of the day, what happens? When the lady gets married to the man, the man begins to display his true self and say, look, forget about what I said. I'm the man of the hope. You cannot make me to go to that uh, church. And then from there, they begin to have problem. So that is another thing. Another one is unrevealed health condition. Sometimes the man does not want to reveal or the woman does not want to reveal the health condition to the partner. And what will happen when they get into this marriage? At some point, they will discover and then it's going to affect the marriage. Some men are sterile. Some women have done something to their womb. Some men are impotent. Some have HIV. Some have asthma and cases like that. All kinds of medical condition. I wouldn't advise that you get married to somebody without revealing your medical condition to that person. Remember, in one of our episodes, we said that you need to know each other's medical status. It is important so that uh, uh, you don't get it wrong from the foundation. So, say the truth about yourself. Another one we have is unrevealed deformity on the private part. Somebody told me a story sometime, I don't know how true it is, that a man got married and uh, after the marriage, they discovered that the man had no private part. I don't know how true it is, but you know, there's no smoke without a fire. These things will happen. Do not get that marriage. It cannot be said that that marriage has been contracted. We cannot uh, uh, accept that kind of marriage. It is not right. You must reveal your true self for whatever it is worth. All right? Uh, the seventh one I have here is on revealed past negative encounters. Some have gone to jail before. Some have done something bad in the future. that may come back to haunt them. Sometimes you need to reveal these things because they, your, it, it, it will so happen that the thing will be revealed to your spouse. So you may need to do that. If you have gone to jail before, what is the big deal? Tell her you have gone to jail. Tell him you have gone to jail before. And then, so that she can put that behind her. So that somebody cannot use it to blackmail you. So that it will not come to her or him as a shock. 
The last one I have here is pretense about your true character. I know a lot of people pretend. Men, a man who is, is violent, you know, domestically violent, he will pretend that he's a nice person. He pretend that he's a gentleman. You know, a woman who has a, a, a mean behavior, who is not friendly, who will pretend to be friendly just to, you know, get along with the man. Eventually, the person will get to know. You cannot hide your character forever. If your character is good, why do you need to hide it? You don't need to hide your character. So, these are some of the things that you find. And do you know how, when they discover, how will they describe you as a person who is presenting himself, you know, as another person? They will call you uh, a green snake under the green grass or a green snake under a green grass. They will call you a chameleon. They will call you a man in the iron mask. They will call you a, sn a snake in the monkey shadow. All sort of names. That is why you have to be careful. You don't need to do that. Present your true self so that you don't build a faulty foundation. Uh, the book of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 10 says, For whoever would love life and seek good deeds must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from deceitful speech. If you are a Christian, if you are a child of God, you are true to yourself. You must not allow deceit, light, to proceed out of your mouth. You must not present yourself to be what you are not. Um, what are you afraid of? That the marriage will not work, that it will fail? Somebody once said in one of our episodes, Dr. Margaret Ocon, he said, a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. It's better that that relationship should scatter than for you to get married and it ends up in divorce. It's not the best. You have to think about it. Build your marriage on a solid foundation. No lies, no secrets, no deceits, no pretense, but be truthful about yourself. Be confident and proud of who you are. You have to be confident and proud of who you are. If he or she does not want you for you or for who you are, for being truthful, then it doesn't deserve you. It doesn't deserve you. I say that there is someone out there who deserves you. The person is there waiting for you. What you need to do is to pray and be patient and God will answer your prayers. I want to say thank you for watching. This marks the end of this episode. Reasons for the challenges in marriage. And uh, we are going to come up with new series that will also help you in your marriage. I want to encourage you to watch. I want to appreciate you for watching. Share the video so that others can benefit from it. If you have not subscribed, look at the button below that says subscribe. Hit on the subscribe button so that you can continue to receive our notification. Till I come your way again next time. I want to wish you a happy marriage. Remain blessed and bye.